Hi everybody, my name is Paisley and I am from I Hate Formulas and today I will be showing you guys how to create a formula for population variation for when you have a skewed graph. Um, so we are going to start by clicking on program and making a new one. So you're going to name it popVar. So to do that you can alpha lock and type in pop bear. and then hit enter. So there's your program. So the first thing we are going to put in is an input and you are going to input the letter N which is your sample size. So to do this you're going to open your parentheses I mean your quotation marks, sorry, which are right there by and then type in N. You're going to close your quotations and, oh, oops, no, sorry, just hit delete on there, just put in your colon, and then you put the quotation marks. Then you're going to place, get out of second alpha, and put a comma. That's not a comma. There's the comma. And then you're going to put N, and that's what's going to show in your calculator. So, second alpha. So then you're going to hit enter. So you're, set, you're going to go in and do it again. So you're going to go to program, input. And here you're going to input your S, which is your, your sample variance. So you're going to put alpha locket, put in your quotations, put in S. Put in your colon, close the quotations, get out of alpha, and hit your comma. Then you're going to put in S. Then you're going to hit enter again. Then once again, you're going to input. And here is where it gets sort of tricky. So you're going to open up your parentheses, and then you're going to go in and find your chi-squared, and this is the distribution because your standard deviation will be different on each side, so this will sort of find what the standard deviation for the left side will be. So to get to standard, to get to the chi part, you go to VARES, you scroll down to statistics, go over to test, and there's the chi-squared at number four. So you will click that, and then you will place Go to self second alpha, put a space, and put the letter letter R, which will represent your R, like to the right side of the, the right side of the curve. So then find the R, R. Then you're gonna put in your colon, your quotations, exit out of alpha, put your comma, then place another R. So this will solve for the right alpha chi. You're going to want to do this again, but for your alpha chi left. So you're going to go in again, put program, input, open your quotation marks, and then go back and you're going to go to VARES, VARES statistics, test, and this time you're going to when you put in your space, you're going to put the letter L, which represents the left side. So you're going to put in your colon, your quotation marks, and then get out of alpha lock. You are going to place a comma, and then the letter L. Pretty repetitive, but that's what it is. L. So you're going to hit enter again, and this is when you're going to go into what your calculator is actually going to display. So you're going to go to program, Input, output, display. So, in quotation marks, you are going to write upper. U, P, P, E, R. And this represents the upper um, chi square. So, you're going to put that in quotations, exit out, put a comma, 
And here's the going to be the, your first formula. So you're going to put, you're going to open up your square root sign, and then you're going to add an extra parentheses, and you are going to put alpha n minus 1, close parentheses, s squared, so go over to s squared, divided by r. r. And then you're going to close parentheses once again. So you're going to do this again, however, now you're going to do it for the lower side, which would be your chi L. So hit enter, go to program, display, you're going to open your parentheses, I'm going to alpha lock it to make life easier, and type in lower, L, O, W, E, you're going to close your quotation marks, exit out of alpha, place your comma, and then again open up your square root. So here, you are going to do the same, basically the same exact formula that you had in the previous one. So you're going to do, open up the parentheses again, you're going to place an n minus 1, close parentheses, s, S squared divided by L, L, which will represent the left, close parentheses. So that basically about sums it up. So you're going to quit out of this, second quit, and we can go in and test it. So here's your pop there. So we'll, let's just say that our N is, let's see. n equals 10, your sample standards deviation is 5, your x, your, no, your chi right is 19.023, and these you will find in a chart that will be provided on our website, so just go head over there and see based on what your sample size and your population is. So let's say the left is 2.700. Enter. So that will, so that shows that your upper standard deviation is 3.14 and your lower standard deviation is 9.12. Thank you guys very much. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook. We're also on Instagram. Hope you have a nice day.